What's up guys? In this video we're going to take a look at new Crane 3 by Gene Company and I'm gonna go through some basic changes from its previous version Crane 2. Please note that this is a pre-production version so any small changes can be applied by Gene Company. In terms of design it's very much different from its previous version. Together with Vibi Lab, it's more designed for underslung mode with a more balanced center of gravity. So Jiyun moved the majority of modes and navigation buttons on the top of the handle. Let's go quickly through them. One of them is the zoom rocker. Once the zoom focus controller, which is sold separately connected to the stabilizer, the zoom rocker will be able to control it. Also a dial to quickly set camera parameters. So we have two HDMI cables, five camera control cables and one charging cable. Also there is a camera image and transmission control module where you insert cables to manage camera so you get access to aperture, ICO, exposure, focus, zoom settings easily. Three buttons like it on the left are shutter speed, aperture value and ICO parameters. Four-way direction control joystick is the only thing they left here. On the left we have a bigger follow focus wheel, also a small power button and two quarter inch threaded holes. One of the modes button, which is pen follow mode to lock mode switch, together with USB power outlet is now located on the back. S stands for following mode, POV switches between point of view mode or vortex mode, and reset button which resets the motor to the starting point of the current mode. Go stands for phone go mode, which enables fast following speed of the three axes on the stabilizer. And in this version, it's dealing with fast actions more smoothly. The edit locks for all of the axes, so it can be locked both for installation and storage. Using a small OLED screen, you can adjust such parameters as motor, wheel, joystick, zoom rocker, calibration, angle, focus. Options as Canon 5D series with 24-70mm f2.8 lens are considered as heavy and suggested to use with high weight capacity motor torque adjustment. New Crane 3 is using three 18650 batteries with the average runtime of 7.5 hours. Coming back to modes, here is the description. Another awesome feature is that under some modes you can manually rotate the camera to a certain angle, then loosen the grip and the camera position will be fixed. As this is a gimbal which supports heavy cameras, it's way more important to thoroughly balance the gimbal in all the axes, otherwise some modes like V-mode or flashlight mode won't really be available. So from my point of view, Jin did a great work. They are reconsidering the future of gimbals and make video making more convenient and professional. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe for the channel for more videos, smash the like button and stay tuned.